Namaste. Today, in this video, we are going to solve a knapsack problem by using branch and bound approach or BBO approach. In previous video, we have solved a traveling salesman problem by using BBOS. So, let us consider a knapsack problem as there are three items with weight 2, 4, 6 and profit of 10, 18 and 12 and capacity is 8. So, initially for finding the upper bound and lower bound, we select the first item and calculate the upper bound and lower bound, where upper bound is calculated by using 0-1 knapsack problem and lower bound is calculated by using fractional knapsack problem. Okay. So, by selecting first item, the possible ways are 10 plus 18, that means profit of first item and second item is minus 28 and weight is 2 plus 4 is 6. Similarly, first and third item that is 10 plus 12, yes, its weight is 8. So, the minimum value between minus 28 and minus 22, okay, it is a minimization problem. So, the minimum value between minus 28 and minus 22 is minus 28, okay, so that is upper bound and by from the upper bound, the largest or capacity is 8, which is equal to the given capacity. So, for the, okay, and here it is minus 28. So, we have selected this part, yes, that means we select first and second item. So, 2 plus 4 is 6 and maximum capacity is 8. So, remaining part is 2. So, 2 by 6 into 12 is minus 32. So, this is the solution from fractional knapsack problem, yes. So, so this is lower bound. Now, the node 1 becomes, we haven't select any item yet. So, W equals to 0, P equals to 0 and upper bound is minus 28 and lower bound is minus 32. Now, exploring the node 1, we get node 2 and 3 where X1 is, that means first item is selected or not selected, okay. So, by selecting the first item, we get the upper bound as minus 28 and lower bound as minus 32, which we have done in previous, yes. So, when we do not select the first item, that is x1 equals 0, then x1 is 0, that means we select the second item and third item only. So, 4 plus 6 is 10, that means it is greater than capacity. So, we have to select only single item, either 2 or 3. If 2 is selected, then minus 18 is its profit and weight is 4. If minus 3 is selected, its profit is minus 12. So, the weight is 6. Now, the least value between minus 18 and 12 is minus 18. Yes. So, the fractional knapsack problem is minus 18 and we need 4 parts from third item. Yes. So, 4 by 6 into 12, it gives minus 24. That means our lower bound is minus 24 and upper bound is minus 18. So, by constructing the node, this is first node and second node, we have selected the first item. So, the weight of first item is 2, that means weight equals 2, profit is 10, so profit equals 10. Upper bound for when first item is selected is minus 28, lower bound is minus 32. Similarly, for node 3, we do not select node 1, so that means we haven't selected any item yet, so that is W equals 0, P equals 0 and similarly upper bound and lower bound. Now, the upper bound is minus 28 and minus 18 and the minimum value between minus 28 and minus 18 is minus 28. So, surely we select this node 2. Yes, since upper bound of node 2 is less than upper bound of uh, 3, node 3, so we select node 2 and kill the node 3. So, now exploring node 2, we get node 4 and 5, where the second item is selected or not selected. So, for node 4, we have come from node 2, yes, we have come from node 2. So, that means x1 is selected. So, when we go to node 4, x1 is selected in previous problem and x2 is selected in this node. So, the total profit is minus 28, w equals 6 and Similar to that, lower bound is minus 32. And for node 5, we do not select x2. So, the upper bound is minus 22 and lower bound is also minus 22 because the maximum weight is 8. So, by representing into the node, so this is the previous part, we 
kill the node tree and four is when okay here is x2 equals to 1 and x2 equals to 0 if these two items are selected then weight is first and second item is selected that means 2 plus 4 is 6 yes so 6 and profit is 10 plus 18 is 28 28 similarly lower bound is minus 32 and for this part x2 is now selected so lower bound is minus 22 and upper bound is minus 22 again the upper bound is minus 28 here and it is minus 22 so the minimum value is minus 28 that means we select the node 4 and kill the node 5 and when we explore the node 4 we get node 6 and node 7 where x3 is equals to 1 and x3 equals to 0 so node 6 that means x1 equals to 1 x2 equals to 1 x3 equals to 1 yes so here x1 equals to 1 x1 equals to 0 so this is not selected x2 equals to 1 x2 equals to 0 this is also not selected and when this is x3 equals to 1 x3 equals to 0 so if the three item are selected then the total weight will be 2 plus 4 plus 6 that is 12 that means this is infinite or infeasible it is not possible so we do not select node 6 because it is infeasible okay infeasible so node 7 so x3 is equal to 0 so upper bound is minus 28 and lower bound is minus 32 that is the fear like this yes node 6 is not feasible so do you know we do not calculate any profit or weight and node 7 is this so we select node 7 since 6 is infeasible so we kill node 6 and select node 7 in this way we have found a solution x equals x1 equals to 1 x2 equals to 1 and x3 equals to 0 yes so that is the given problem solution is 110 with profit 28 yes so in this way we have solved the knapsack problem by using bbo method okay thank you and bye bye